Okay, so question number five, you're three nautical miles due east of Montauk Point Light. What is the course per standard magnetic compass to a position one mile due south of Block Island, Southeast Point Light? So the challenge to this question is um, finding the locations on the chart. And so uh, here is Montauk Point, here is Block Island, uh, Southeast Point. But again, if you didn't know where these places were, you could look them up in the Coast Pilot and you can see where, um, you know, where Montauk Point is. You go over to page 140 and then you can read that it's the eastern edge of Long Island Sound. So the question is asking me, what is the course to steer from a point over here to a point over here? So my strategy for solving this question will be uh, to plot point A, to plot point B, to then measure the line between them in degrees true and then convert that to degrees per steering compass using you know the acronym true vampires make dull companions at wakes so that'll be the strategy on how we solve the problem but uh, first we need to plot the position So if I measure the course between them in degrees true, I come up with about a value of 0, 0.7, 0 0.5 degrees. So now that I've got my course, what I can do is do um, the compass correction or uncorrection problem and try and solve for the answer. So. I'm gonna use the acronym true vampires make dull companions at wakes. Now there's also the acronym can dead men vote twice at elections if I'm going that way, but since I'm gonna move in this direction, I'm gonna be good to go. So we said that our true course was 0, 070.5 0 degrees true, and our variation was 15 degrees uh, west. And that came from the problem itself. 15 degrees west. So therefore, if I'm moving in this direction, I need to add westerly errors. So my answer here is 085.5 degrees magnetic. Cool. But I don't know my deviation. And I'm looking for my course, my per steering compass course. Okay, so what I need to do is find the deviation of the mag magnetic compass. And for that, I need to look into the deviation table. And in the previous problem, we were looking for a course of 300 and our deviation was zero. It was great, almost like they designed it that way. In this problem, they're testing us a little bit more. We have a course of 085.5 degrees magnetic, and that is not listed on this table. The closest value is 090. So you might be tempted to choose the closest value of deviation, but if you want to get more accurate, you should interpolate this. So most of the time, if you round and you choose the, be the closest deviation value, you'll be okay. But to be correct, we need to interpolate. And so we're just going to reproduce this. Uh, we're just going to reproduce this deviation table onto our little worksheet here. And so it said uh, 0, 060, 0, 090. And those values were four degrees east and uh, two degrees east. Okay, and so our value of 085.5 is not listed, but it fits in there. 085.5. So we want what the the uh, deviation is going to be for exactly that course. Um, so so the way that we can solve this problem is by using ratios, right? So this gap is 30 degrees. This gap is uh, 25.5. So 25.5 out of 30 is equal to this gap, which is 2, and this gap, which is x. So x over 2. 
And if we go back to the, uh, the old math there, um, you can do 25.5 divided by 30 equals, and then multiply it by 2, and you get an x value of 1.7. Okay, so does that mean this goes in that block? No, that means the gap here between 4 and our value is 1.7. So you could do that by saying 4 minus 1.7 equals 2.3. And our correct deviation should be 2.3 degrees east. If you don't like to do it that way, you could do it a different way. You could say, hey, the gap here is 4.5 out of 30. And the gap here is, um, you know, x out of 2. So if you multiply that by 2, it's 0.3 and you would just add 0.3 to 2. So either way, however you end up working it, or even if you just um, spitball it, the, you can see that the deviation should be about 2.3. So that value goes over here, 2.3 degrees east. And since it's east, we need to subtract that. And so if we do 85.5 minus 2.3, you end up with 83.2 degrees per steering compass as our final answer. 83.2. And then so if you go back into the problem and look at number five, you can see that there is no 83.2 and that everything is rounded to the nearest half. So why don't we round that to 83.0 and then look for the best answer. And then the closest answer is 82.5. So it would be choice D would be our correct answer.